Did you know that you can experience postpartum bleeding for more than 50 days after birth? There's a lot we don't talk about. So let's get into the nitty gritty and let's talk about postpartum bleeding. What is normal? What is not normal? You need to call your doctor. And some fertility tips so that you can understand when you are able to get pregnant again. I'm Jess, lactation specialist, postpartum educator, pediatric sleep consultant, and mother to three amazing children. I love you. After you give birth, no matter how you give birth, you will bleed. And this is different from your menstrual cycle. In pregnancy, your blood volume increases by 50%, which is huge. Your body has so much more blood and fluid, which it needs during pregnancy. And you might've noticed some swelling happening. But after pregnancy, your body needs to get rid of this. And it does it in three primary ways. And a fourth, if you're special. One is bleeding. Two is sweating, which is where that postpartum stink comes in. Three is peeing. And fourth is crying. Crying's not really a way. Your body gets rid of extra fluid, but it makes me feel better. When your body is getting rid of this extra blood, it's called lochia. It is not your menstrual cycle, okay? And it comes in three different phases. Rubra is the first phase. This is right after birth. It is heavy, it is red, it is dark red, it is bright red, and you might pass a few clots. This is normal. It is also normal for you to experience more bleeding when you're doing more activity or when you're breastfeeding. You might feel that happening. And this is because of uterine contractions. This is perfectly normal. What is not normal, AKA call your doctor right now. It's, if it smells bad, if you're soaking through two pads in an hour, and these are not panty liners that you're using. You want the thick boys, those big ones with the overnight wings that they're always on commercials. That's what you want. Or even adult diapers is great because it is a lot. It is a lot more than I think anybody ever really expects it to be. But if you're soaking through two in an hour, that's too much. That's too much bleeding and you need to call your doctor, okay? Rubra can last anywhere from four to seven days and then it moves into phase two, which is called serosa. Serosa is when it's transitioning to a lighter flow. Sometimes it's spotting, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's brown, and this lasts about two weeks. During this time is when you're starting to feel better. You're starting to move a little bit more and with more movement, you might notice a little bit more bleeding as well. So just keep an eye on that. Keep those thick pads handy, but most likely you're moving towards those thinner pads that you can use for the daytime. I did have a question asked to me, which is, can I use a tampon during this time? And the answer is, it is not recommended to use a tampon. Why? Because your cervix is still open during this time. It takes a while for our cervix to fully close after birth. Even if you have a C-section, your cervix will be open, which means things can get in there. And if things get in there, you can get an infection, which leads me to a fertility moment. There is a third phase of lochia, which we'll get back to in just a second, but this is important for us to talk. We technically are not cleared for intimacy with our partner until about six weeks after birth, but over 50% of couples are being intimate before that checkup. Here's something for you to know. You can get pregnant as soon as three weeks after birth. Lochia is not our menstrual cycle and we can return to ovulation prior to having our first period. So before you even know that you're fertile, you can get pregnant. Now, if you are exclusively breastfeeding, which is exclusive pumping, exclusive breastfeeding, anything like this, if all of your baby's nutritional needs are being met by your breast milk, you tend to have a window of time where you will not be fertile, which is about six months until your baby starts to eat other foods. If your baby is supplementing in any way, this might not apply to you, the lactation amenorrhea, which means you need to be very careful during that intimacy time, unless you want to have another baby pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And the final stage of lochia is phase three, which is alba. And this is white or yellowish discharge. It lasts about two to three weeks. It's made up of white blood cells, cervical mucus, and microorganisms. 
Now, if you have learned anything in this video, would you just give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and just leave a comment of what you want to talk about next. Hope it helps. Love ya. See ya, pizza. Like this, Nora! And she jumps! And I was like, ah, Nora! Oh man, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. We're really into potty humor right now, which is great.